Did I? It's a perch crab. <laughs> I tried putting on a snubber and I failed a little bit. I'm getting wet more than we get anywhere. <laughs> and we are going to look for the very rare, but a few sightings have been of the swimming moose. Nikolai sail race steering. Look at the, look at the trail. <laughs> <laughs> if the coast guard see that, you're gonna have to blow in the. It's all right. Yeah. They'll never catch us, man. I'm doing the Belfast shuffle. <laughs> this is how to avoid the coast guard. <laughs> We've got both sails out, but they're uh, reefed pretty heavily. Uh, I think the wind's probably doing about 12 to 14 knots. But we're on a nice beam reach at the moment, Aura. <laughs> we're going to be doing double the distance because we're zig <laughs> <laughs> zigzagging everywhere, but it's cool. And the navigators are not happy. Can't see the bloody stick. <laughs> Honey, we had at least five meters of going straight. <laughs> good times, good times. <laughs> we look like we're in a storm out here, you know? <laughs> storm simulation! This is really amazing sailing right now. Just on a beam reach going with the wind probably at like 100, 110 degrees. Doing eight and a half knots. Really nice. That bottom cleaning really did a massive difference to the speed of this boat. It was hard work, but it was worth it. Nikolai's on the helm. Hi, I am. Hi. <laughs> Going through this channel now, but you can see in Orland, you really need to be on your toes, all these rocks everywhere. It's just, just insane. into the Finnish archipelago now. Winds are perfect still, not too strong. It's the first time we've been to Finland, or at least I've been to Finland, so. We just hoisted the uh, Finnish flag up there and took down the Orland one as well, so. Getting there, we're two thirds of the way there now. We've probably been sailing around about four or five hours. And uh, yeah, we should be there in a good time today. Been a great sail. So the route from the Happy Salmon or Gladilaxen took us right through the center of Orland and uh, down the main passages there. This was the safest route as there's many many rocks around Orland and it requires careful passage making. We went up the channel uh, that the ferries take and we ended up uh, in the Bay of Shellu. It wasn't long before Nikolai had his fishing rod out again. Finally! Yes! 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 <laughs> Look at this! Did I? It's a perch! <laughs> Finally, we have a perch! Hello, little perchy. Hello. Oh, Pussy, look. look at its weapons deployed. Yes. My name is Fish. Probably a little too small to eat, aren't they? No, they don't get though, a lot bigger. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at the fillets that we had in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. That was sort of that size. Yeah. Do you want to chop it? Good. Not yet. Probably no, not yet. What do you want to do with it? Maybe release it. Okay. Uh, let's see if we get I any more. Eat it. 
If we get any more, we can eat it. Just leave so it in the barrel then? Yeah, that's, yeah. How do you get the hook out? Oh, I need to get its weapon down. Oh, oh. Careful because... I'll probably get stung. Does, does it sting? Yeah. Yeah, it's spines on the top. Oh, just put it again. Yeah. Because yeah. you are eating. What is that? Please. Please. Got another one, Nikolai. Yeah. <laughs> this is a big one. Yeah. Yeah. We get you. Oh my God. Do you want me to? Is it okay to put it over with the other yes, guy? Yes, yes, yes. Come on, you. <laughs> Do you like? Just uh, pour the water in also. Yeah. You yeah. sure? Yeah. yeah. That's a big ass one. Well done, Nikolai. Woo! So, so we've arrived in a little place called. Is it called Cilia here? I can't remember on the map. Uh, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. Little place uh, just south of Turku, anyway. And, um, just put the rod in again. Nikolai's caught two Shelu. perch already. Shelu. Shelu. Yeah. Shelu. It's a nice which little means, bay. Which means Seoul Island. Yeah. The islands of the Seoul. Yeah. Apparently it's a little haunted around these islands, but yeah. Old hospital. Old hospital. Yeah. For mental. No leap leaper. Is that what you call it? Leopard. Oh, leopard. Yeah. Leopard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of uh, tombs. And a lot of uh, dead people, Ooh. and apparently a lot of fish also. <laughs> hey, look at these guys. <laughs> Selfie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Successful anchoring. Well, we don't know yet because we don't know whether we're oh. drifting or not. Hello. <laughs> successful fishing bubbles. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So before we got the anchor bubbles out, we got two fish. That was pretty successful. I know. Waking up to see girls in the water. What a beautiful view in the morning. Sun's in the perfect place. Wind's in front of us, so we get some nice sun coming into the cockpit. Uh, because we're anchored basically on the on the front anchor this time, um, <clears throat> which means we're facing the wind, which is nice. Any problem with this cockpit tent sometimes, it's hard to climb around. There's not much deck space on the back here, at, uh, in the back corner on Aurora, but there we go. Can't have everything, right? So, um, this is one other little thing that we've done actually with the self tacker because in the night, uh, in the night it can flip from side to side and really become a little bit annoying. So we've just, just made a little bungee actually, keeps it to one side. Actually, yesterday, for the first time, I tried um, I tried putting on a snubber and I failed a little bit. Uh, I put on something anyway. But, uh, I don't have any rope that I can cut up at the moment that's at the right size, but I just found some old rope for the time being, this thin, this thin stuff. And uh, attached it just down here. Do not drop the camera crew. Just there and put it through the anchor roller but um, it's not the best solution because uh, the chain still does make a noise when it moves from side to side and I know that you should uh, you should tie the ropes onto two cleats there maybe or at least one and then run them down to the anchor uh, towards the water line the problem is with the hanses is the cleats uh, the rope leads directly over the side of the deck there so any rope that you have leading forward there is just going to chafe on the front of the hull uh, on the bow there so just for uh, just for cosmetic looks and making it still look nice and not rub up the deck uh, I've actually just ran th ran the rope just through the anchor roller there but I don't know uh, I need to experiment and look and do a bit of research and see what would work best Nikolai's a bit disappointed because the boat swung this way now. Uh, last night we were a bit more uh, over in that direction, swung over that way. And there's some beautiful perch, um, a perch fishing spot over there. You can, I can actually see the fish jumping. The fish are jumping, man, over on the reeds. Get the boat over there. <laughs> it's 
That's where all the ferries are coming in and out of Turku over there. Turku. Trout. Not so, trout. No, sorry, Perch. not trout. Perch, yeah. My bad. This yeah, look is at that. really difficult. Yeah. I might have overdone one side. It's alright. Yeah. So, I haven't really shown you down here at all lately, but uh, welcome to the <laughs> the mess that ensues. So we've got the couple of sup boards in the back there and a lot of gear, all the covers and everything. Sarah? Life jackets, food. Sarah? Yeah. We've got a little cafe. Okay. Some salad. I'm going to take the drone out in a minute. I'm being summoned. Sorry. <laughs> you call? <laughs> you call? What's up? Perch with some scrambled eggs on top. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm, 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 mm. This is life. Hmm? Bye. Bye bye. We got the big reverse <laughs> rowing here. Reverse rowing. All right. <laughs> what way is it? Like this? No, no, no. Put put him down like there. Yeah, and then pull back. There you go. Pocket <laughs> <laughs> I'm rowing. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> I'm getting wet more than we're going anywhere. <laughs> Come on, man. What are you doing? Right. Left. Left. Both. 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 <laughs> Right! <laughs> Both! Right! <laughs> Nikolai's ass in full frame here. <laughs> These are our first feet on Finland. <laughs> on private land maybe. Oh, you want some crocs? This is nice though. We were going to set off to uh, Turku a bit earlier, but decided to do some exploring here instead because, you know, who wants to be in a city when you can see this? Beautiful. We had a small issue with anchoring actually where the anchor wasn't digging in. And when the anchor uh, came up out of the water for the first time, and I asked Tanya actually, I said, what was on the anchor? And she said it was clean. and. Uh, so I suspected it was sand on the anchor, or sand on the bottom rather. And sure enough it is, it's kind of like muddy, well, mostly sand, maybe a little bit of mud in it, but uh, the delta anchor was struggling a little bit to bite in at some point. Maybe I was reversing on it too fast initially, but uh, I should maybe let it settle, and then, uh, and then let it dig in. Abandoned Nikolai now on a rock. You gotta get yourself back now, buddy. <laughs> if you want to anchor in tight bays like that, you really need to know the depths of every part of the bay to give you enough swinging room around there so you don't bang the rudder or, yeah, that's the worst case. The keel's one thing, if you hit that, it's a big lump of metal, so I mean, you just chip some paint off it. But if you hit the rudder, that's a lot more delicate on the back end. So that's why I'm a bit skeptical on anchorages. Few sightings have been of the swimming moose. 
to swim Which is the last animal that we need to find on our tour. Oh, sorry. Of the archipelago in Stockholm, Åland, and the archipelago in Finland or Germany. So now we just discovered this huge ass mosquito hovering over our heads. Oh no! <laughs> I don't think it likes water. So. so what are we gonna do if we actually find a swimming moose? If we find a swimming moose, we are gonna say, hey, swimming moose. And then we are gonna ask it if it would please come to the boat, Aurora, and swim with us to Kyrko, where we would eat it, maybe? Oh, no. Good. <laughs> No, I think we will pack it in a suitcase and send it home with Sarah and then she can take it to Greenland. Yes, because <laughs> she's leaving for Greenland. And I think a moose could be good on Greenland. Yes. Okay, so just a quick review on the dinghy. Uh, it's a great boat. We just, uh, or Tanya and Chris just named it Ridiculous today. It's a great name. But it is not made for people that have any kind of size. Look at this. Oh, yes. I tested that yeah, as well. It's uh, either size or, as me, white hips. Yes. <laughs> so ladies, you want a thingy? Get another one. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, then we discovered these strange, well, footprints on the bottom of the water. And that is actually the strange footprints of the swimming moose. So this is a clear sign that the swimming moose was here, have been swimming around, but has now left the area. It is nice, but cold. And here we have our beautiful boat. Hello, Aurora. Which is full of drying stuff. Ah! Ow! Oh my god, it's the swimming moose! The it's the swimming, swimming moose! It's a shark! <laughs> no, it's the swimming moose! Scuba Steve! Oh, it's Scuba Steve! It's Scuba Steve! <laughs> uh, you know that we were not in any danger or anything? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, it was an thank exercise. You. Thank you, <laughs> But thank you. It's very nice of you. Goodbye, awesome anchorage. Thank awesome. you. Thank you for anchoring. Honey, navigate. Navigate, goddammit, we have to have a stop. Ah, beautiful area. <laughs> 